Hello friends, today we will discuss how to configure and add landed cost or additional cost to products in Odoo 15. So the landed cost feature in Odoo allows you to include additional cost including shipment, insurance fees, custom duties into the cost of the product. So this gives a total cost and these landed cost or additional cost can only be applied to products with FIFO or average costing method. And you also have to make sure that the inventory valuation method is automated. That is, the accounting entries are posted automatically. So here we have our inventory module and I have configured a product category, office furniture, all saleable office furniture. And I've set inventory valuation here this includes costing method and inventory valuation. So I have set costing method as FIFO, first in, first out, and inventory valuation as automated. So if the costing method is FIFO, then the products are valued, supposing those uh, that enter the company first will also leave it first. That is the first value in, is the first value out. So we have done a detailed video on inventory valuation over 15. Now, here let me open products and I have set this category for two products that is for folding chair and garden chair. You can see I have set the category as all saleable office furniture. For garden chair also you can see that and for both the products that is for folding chair and garden chair. You can see the on hand and forecaster is zero. Now let us purchase these products from a vendor. So I'm purchasing one quantity each. And here you can find the unit price that is the purchase cost for each product. So now let's confirm this purchase order. And after confirmation, here we can receive the products to our stock. So just validate the transfer. So now we have the products with us. So after receiving this, here let's create bill. So draft bill is created. Now let's confirm this. Okay, we have to provide the bill date. So we have created a purchase order and confirmed it. And then we have received products and created bill. Then if we want to add some additional charge on these products, like it can be some service charge, like uh, it can be shipping charge. So if you want to do that, you have to enable landed cost option from inventory management. So just open inventory. And if you go to configuration settings, you can find a feature landed cost. So you can add transportation charge or custom fees on products by adding it with the purchase cost. So after enabling this, just save the settings. Now here under operations, you can see a new menu, then cost. So just open that and here we can click on create button to create a uh, additional cost and just provide a date. And we can apply that cost either on transfers or on manufacturing orders. So first, let us see how we can apply a landed cost on a transfer. So here we can pick the transfer. So let me just save this and come back to my purchase module. Here we have created a purchase order. So we can find the receipt here. Okay, it's 22 reference. 
and here we have our vendor bill. So just copy that and here again, if you open the landed cost, you have the option to choose a transfer. So here we have a receipt. So I've added the receipt here. Then here I'm pasting the copied vendable reference. So I'm doing this because I want to apply the additional cost on the vendor bill. And make sure you have chosen the right transfer because we have to add the additional cost on the products in the transfers. So after adding this here, we can add additional cost. So I'm creating transportation. You can create an edit. You can see by default the product type is set as service. And now let me save this. And here you can see description is added. You can view the account added. And now we can choose a split method uh, for our additional cost. That is, we can split the cost among products equally or by quantity or by current cost by weight of product or by volume so this weight and volume can be set inside the product form under inventory tab so here let me set the split method as equal and cost as 130 okay let's be 100 now, after saving this, if I click on compute, here you can see under valuation adjustment, cost lines are added. So you can find the products that we have purchased before, garden chair and folding chair. You can see one quantity, then the original value, that is original purchase cost of each product and the new value. So this new value is computed by adding the additional cost, that is landed cost. So here we can separately view the additional landed cost being added to the product. So as we have set split method as equal, cost is split equally among the products. You can see it is 50, 50. Now, if you change the split method as by quantity, so again, you can see as we have one quantity each, it is split it equally then here we have by current cost so according to current cost the landed cost is divided you can see that additional cost here then by weight so each time you change the split method you have to click on compute in order to recompute the cost. So now we can see it has changed to 80 and 20. So this depends upon the weight that you have set for the product. So here you can see inside the garden chair, you can see the weight is two kilogram. And for folding chair, you can see it is 0.50 kilogram. So according to that, the cost has been divided. Now we can click on validate to validate the lambda cost on products. So here you can see a valuation tab. When you click on that, you can find the stock valuation. So here for folding chair, when you click on this add, you have an option for manual valuation. That is here we can reevaluate the product's value. So here we can view the current value. It is 1,120 for one unit. And you can add additional here. And you can use negative if you want to decrease the product's value. 
and if you are adding a value or uh, decreasing the value here you have can provide the reason why you doing this and here you have to choose the counterpart account now here when you open the purchase order you can see inside the vendor bill a landed cost is been added so when you click on this you can find the total amount so we can see the landed cost added and when you check the product form you can see the additional cost is not added with the purchase cost because in the case of fifo the cost is updated only when a sale is done now let's see how we can apply landed cost on products with average cost costing method so have product speaker you can see cost 1000 and here i have seen the product category office furniture so you can see costing method is fifo let me update this to average cost automated and we have another product table for this also i have set a cost 2900 so let me change this to 2000 and for this also i have set the product category as office furniture having costing method average cost automated now let us create a purchase order so i'm purchasing two quantity each then after that confirm the purchase order and receive products and validate the receipt so here for this product you have to provide serial number because we are tracking using serial number and if you want to know about lots of serial number configuration order 15 you can check the link above so after validating the receipt let us create a bill for this let's copy this bill okay you can see the receipt preference 23 now open inventory and create planet cost provide proper date and here it will paste the vendor bill that I have copied and you can see i have selected the transfer now here we can add an additional cost So, I'm adding a transportation charge, two hundred, and I want to equally split this cost. So, when you click on compute, here you can see 
valuation adjustments shown here you can find the products added so you can see for two quantity the total cost here by adding the landed cost and here you need to click on the valuation you can view the valuation stock valuation for your products so when you click on this you can reevaluate the product and here you can find the unit value unit cost uh, for the product by adding the land cost so it is total 1050 for this product and for table you can see it is 2050 so when you check the product form you can see the cost is updated here so landed cost is added with the product price And when you check the vendor bill, inside there also you can find that land cost. So this is how we apply land cost on receipts. Now, let's create a manufacturing order. So when you go to external, you can find the sales price cost. Cost is 240. And you can see the product category added as office furniture having a cost. That is costing method, average cost. So now let's confirm this manufacturing order. And mark as done. So just copy this. And create a new land cost by selecting manufacturing orders. So here we have to apply it on manufacturing order. And we can choose a manufacturing order. Then here we can add the additional cost. Then we can click on this compute. You can see that product tabletop is added to the valuation adjustment. So the original value was, you can see it is 160 and you can view the additional cost added 60. Now after that, we can validate this. So you can see value added. And when you check the product, Inside the product form, also you can see the cost is updated. And you also have an option to compute price from bill of material. So here, when you click on this compute price from bill of material, then you can see the cost is updated. So here, when you open bill of material, you can see for the tabletop, we have a bill of material structure and cost. So from here, we can view the total cost calculated from the operations and the components. So you can find the detailed report here. And again, if you purchase this product for a different amount, the cost will be updated by taking the average because the costing method for this product tabletop is average cost. So that's how we configure landed cost and add additional cost on products.